Nyquist calls on all his class. Nyquist was all hot. Nyquist definitely has a killer instinct factor. Nyquist with the lead. Nyquist to take it. He's just the horse that is determined to be first at the wire. And the champ is back in fine fashion. Nyquist takes the San Vicente. I think other horses, when they go eyeball to Nyquist, I think they get a little intimidated. Nyquist has moved away. Mo Heyman has no answer today. I think if anybody comes up and wants to get in a dog fight with him, I think I like our dog that way. And Nyquist is still unbeaten. He has won the Kentucky Derby. The Nyquist Report is brought to you by The Dark Horse, the incredible true story of Dream Alliance. And it is time for the Nyquist Report for Preakness Saturday, May the 21st, as he is attempting to win that second leg of the Triple Crown later on in the day. You know, he wears that nasal strip. One of his sponsors is Breathe Right, and his other sponsor that he has is Sension Jet. And the way that Nyquist can fly, I guess it would certainly make sense. And uh, they're sending out the best of luck, obviously, for him today in the... Preakness Stakes, and I think Nyquist sent some love right back to uh, his sponsor, Sentient Jet. Says, hey, thanks to our sponsor. I'm going to do the best I can, and you know it. As uh, Nyquist, so far, so good as he won the Sentient Jet Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year as a two-year-old. Uh, check this out. You know, the, the sports stars were out in full force. Tony Romo, along with Defenseman Eric Johnson, who plays for the Colorado Avalanche. You know, Paul Redham is actually good friends with Eric Johnson, and he tried to get him to come play for his favorite team, the Detroit Red Wings. And Eric said, nah, I'm an Avalanche. And Paul Redham said, well, then I'm going to start naming my horses after Red Wings just to bug you. And he actually got Eric Johnson into the game. They are owners. Paul Redham and Eric Johnson own a few horses together so I would say Redham is Eric Johnson's mentor they were hanging out last night with Tony Romo with uh, Doug O'Neill getting ready for the Preakness Stakes and Eric sent out that tweet saying it was great to talk ponies with Tony Romo and Doug O'Neill before the Preakness one guy that wasn't out to dinner last night with them is Mario Gutierrez he's very very focused right now in trying to get this job done and make his wife Rebecca Rebecca the happiest person and they are so happy right now expecting a child Mario you know had the, the highs back in 2012 with all have another and certainly he's had some lows in between you know you're not always going to be in the spotlight but it is great to see him back in the spotlight and winning huge grade one races and his wife has really been his encouragement she also wanted him to see a sports psychologist keeps him positive he's, he's winning because he wants to make his wife so happy and it seems to be a perfect partnership last bullet point in the nyquist report today today is a day for the fans to express their appreciation for nyquist if you send a tweet use the hashtag nyquist and you can be like peyton doug o'neill team o'neill will put all the tweets they get Maybe if you make a poster that has Nyquist on it, uh, take some pictures showing your love for the Kentucky Derby winner, you'll get on their website and uh, perhaps get your tweet retweeted by the Nyquist Taurus, who's got that blue check mark. He has an official Twitter page. That's Nyquist Report for Preakness Saturday. <laughs>